Alright. Hello, this is Dean Tagashi and Matt Lindley from VentureBeat. We're here with Steve Perlman of OnLive at E3. And you're showing us how Flash is running on this iPad. How's it doing that? It's running because what we've got is actually Flash running on servers in our data center, uh -huh. hooked up to the internet with a 10 gigabit connection. Uh -huh. So not only is Flash running with all the features that you'd have in, uh, on a PC, but you're actually getting Flash running faster than any practical connection on Earth. So this website, which normally takes you know maybe a minute or so to download, um, as you saw when we started up, actually starts working in a, on the order of about um, five seconds. And uh, just to prove that, I think it'd be fun to go to speed test on that. How about that? So we'll go to speed test there. And, oh, I touched the wrong button. I brought up a quick time movie. All right, fine. <laughs> so here's a quick time movie. It normally takes a long time in order to start. So you notice how, like, when you're, um, when you're, um, you know, uh, scrubbing through streaming media, like uh -huh. Netflix or something, you see these little windows? Uh -huh. We're so fast with our connections, you see the full video screen at full resolution instantly, just as fast as you can scrub it, which is that little button there. All right, I'm going to get this thing to work with speed test on that. We'll do it right there. No, I touched the wrong button. Okay, so you're seeing... There we go. All right, so there's speed test. All right, and it is freaking out. We'll start now. Okay. Ah! Low speeds. <laughs> That's not what we want here. We want fast speeds. <laughs> Speedtest.net is not very happy with this connection. Let's try one more time. All right. So, it doesn't like this. Uh -huh. We just ran, sorry about that. We ran it before. <laughs> and it was giving us such a high speed connection. Now it's completely freaking out. Oh my god. Okay. So, let me show you Hard Rock Cafe. So, Hard Rock Cafe is a site that's actually running uh, Silverlight. And Silverlight also is something that not only is not supported by uh, uh, iPad, but it's mm -hmm. not supported by Windows own devices, uh, Windows uh, mobile devices. Mm -hmm. It's not yet. So, um, as you can see, we have the full capability for uh, scrolling around, full pinch and zoom and so forth. And again, this will be available for everyone who is trying out um, online. And then the other thing I want to show, which is kind of cool, is um, uh, if you go to, for example, um, let's see, um, Netflix. So now if I do Netflix and I want to go and resume a movie, so off we go. Here's Kick-Ass, which is a great movie. And here it plays. I can go to full screen. So now, of course, Netflix is available mm -hmm. on the iPad. but Netflix is not necessarily available, for example, on a um, online micro console. Mm -hmm. um, but it is available, of course, through the browser that will soon be available on the online micro console. So basically, what we've, we've made it is so that anything that you would normally do mm -hmm. through browsing, we're going to make available with instant mm -hmm. response. And what's your timing on this in general? Like uh, this will be introduced mm -hmm. um, later this summer. Mm -hmm. And. Um, well, last thing, if you want to see it, one more thing. Okay. Sure. Okay. Is this is a trailer called um, um, a trailer for a new game called Arkham City that's coming out, mm -hmm. and a lot of people may have seen this thing. I kind of skipped through the intro thing, mm -hmm. but what's amazing about this trailer is just how real the characters are. All right. Mm -hmm. So we go there and hit play. The Batman Oops. game. Ah, showing my incompetence and my fat fingers here. Mm -hmm. um, here we go. All right. Here we go. So, the uh, this trailer has characters and faces that are more real than any game trailer has ever been done before. So you can see that guy's face, just how real it is. Mm -hmm. And this right now is a video game trailer. Okay, this is not the real video game. The real video game, of course, is going to... Uh, not quite have this level of capability, but it's an experiment. And it's using this new technology that is currently being used in movies like Transformers and Green Lantern, uh, in Harry Potter, etc., um, called MOVA Contour Reality Capture, 
to go and create the faces and make it look this real. So if I go here and show you this little demo, and this, these, you're the first ones to see it, this is how we made that face look that real. And this is the MOVA contour uh, capture being used to capture that face of the guy that was in the chair. Mm -hmm. And you can see the very subtle motions of his cheeks and everything. So this capability you are going to be seeing very soon in um, video games running on OnLive. It's not this capability, when you look at the specs for the 2012 consoles that were just announced, they can't run this, okay? But OnLive can run it today. So, as you can see, we've got lots of cool things that we're showing. You know, in a lot of ways, I think uh, OnLive has, has come into its own, where it's, it's no longer um, a question of whether or not OnLive's going to work. Uh -huh. It's a question of how big is it going to get. So, uh, <laughs> we're very, very excited to be here at E3 2011. Oh, thank you very much, Steve.